Here is an example of quite a rare tumour of the testis, and this is a spermatocytic tumour. Spermatocytic tumours were originally called spermatocytic seminomas, but this term is no longer used as they are unrelated to the classical seminoma or germ cell neoplasia in situ, and they are not associated with cryptorchidism. The other thing is that spermatocytic tumours only occur in the testis, in contrast to the classical seminoma that can occur in other locations such as the mediastinum or pineal gland. Spermatocytic tumours are derived from post-pubertal germ cells and less than 1% have a malignant behaviour, but they may occasionally be associated with high-grade sarcoma such as fibrosarcoma or rhabdomyosarcoma. It is said that spermatocytic tumours occur slightly more frequently on the right and around 9% are bilateral. The age at which they occur is older than a classical seminoma and the median age is around 55 years. In addition, spermatocytic tumours occur mainly in white men and they typically present with painless testicular enlargement and markers including alpha fetoprotein, beta-HCG and LDH are all normal. Grossly, spermatocytic tumours vary in size from as little as 3 cm in diameter to as much as 15 cm. The cut surface is usually fleshy, nodular and yellow or grey and there may be gelatinous and hemorrhagic areas. Spermatocytic tumours are characteristically polymorphous with three cell types. The smaller cells are the lymphocyte-like cells with scanty cytoplasm and rather smudgy nuclei. The medium-sized cells or intermediate cells again have scanty cytoplasm but the nuclei are round with a rather granular chromatin pattern. The third type of cell are the giant cells and these are sometimes multinucleated and the chromatin pattern has a rather filamentous appearance. Areas of intratubular growth may be seen and the cells have indistinct cell borders and the cytoplasm lacks glycogen. Another feature that distinguishes spermatocytic tumours from seminomas is the lack of a lymphocytic infiltrate and lack of granulomas. As for the immuno characteristics, spermatocytic tumours fail to stain for PLAP, OCT34 and cytokeratins. This is the cut surface of a spermatocytic tumour. It has a pale tan colour with a rather nodular appearance. Histologically there are a number of useful diagnostic features. Here is one feature and that is areas of edema where the cells are rather sparse. Another prominent feature is intratubular extension uh, that can be clearly seen at a low power where the tubules are distended by these rather darker staining cells than the tubules around them. And the presence of intratubular extension explains why spermatocytic tumours are often multifocal. The tumour cells are polymorphous and there are three types. The smallest is a lymphocyte-like cell which measures around 6 to 8 microns across similar in size to an erythrocyte or red blood cell, which is usually about 7 microns. These cells have dark, rather smudgy chromatin. Next up are the intermediate cells, uh, and these are the most frequent cells in a spermatocytic tumour. 
they measure around 15 to 20 microns across. The cells have nuclei with rather speckled chromatin and usually the nucleoli are quite prominent. The other thing is that the cell borders are indistinct compared to a classical seminoma where cell borders are distinct. When looking through a slide of a spermatocytic tumour, the most obvious cell is the giant cell. These are usually 50 to 100 microns across. The nuclei are sometimes multinucleate and the chromatin pattern is rather filamentous in appearance. Finally, a prominent feature in virtually all spermatocytic tumours is the presence of apoptotic bodies and these are the cells showing single cell death and they characteristically have dark pycnotic nuclear fragments and deep pink staining cytoplasm and you can see one at the centre of the picture. So to recap Spermatocytic tumours are rare, occurring in an older age group than the classical seminoma. Despite their nasty appearance, well under 1% of spermatocytic tumours have malignant behaviour. There are many histological features allowing one to easily distinguish between spermatocytic tumours and classical seminomas. And finally, spermatocytic tumours fail to stain with PLAP, OCT34 and cytokeratins.